Hello friends, in the present video, we will see how we'll find the earth pressure values. Okay. Instead, we will see what are the theories on earth pressure. So, earth pressure theories. <laughs> So in general, we are having two earth pressure theories. That is Rankine's theory They will not ask in the exam how many theories are there on earth pressure. Just for the knowledge, I'm just writing here. And Coulomb's theory. Okay, first, let us study about the Rankine's theory. So, for the exam, the main important thing is that assumptions. What they will do is that they will give you the four options and they will ask you which is the not assumptions as per the Rankine's theory. And also they will ask you like what which is the not assumption based on the Coulomb's theory. Like that, they will ask you the one mark type questions. Okay. So for that, let us first understand the assumptions. Okay, shall I, uh, it's better I'll write on the next slide. Assumptions of Rankine's theory. First one is that he has considered that soil is homogeneous and isotropic. Soil is homogeneous and isotropic. So what does that mean? If you consider it is a homogeneous and isotropic, that means the soil properties are all same at any point or in any direction. And he is considered that your soil is cohesionless. That means whatever the formulas, those are generated, those will be applicable only for the cohesionless soils only. Remember, this is a very, very important point. And he is considered that whatever the face of the wall, which is in contact with the backfill, is vertical and smooth. I will say back wall. Instead of writing entire term, I will write it on a back wall. What is in a back wall? The wall which is in contact with the backfill is considered as vertical and smooth. Vertical and smooth. But in general, if you want to construct in some RCC, then the wall will be the rough condition. But the Rankine is assuming that the back wall is truly vertical and there is, it is a smooth surface. And he is considered that backfill surface is smooth. Backfill surface at top is horizontal. Okay. Our next point is that he is assumed that the soil is in a state of plastic equilibrium. Soil is in a state of Plastic equilibrium. Plastic equilibrium during during active or also we can call it as a passive. That means either you find active earth pressure or partial earth pressure. Your soil mass will be in the plastic equilibrium at the time of failure. And Last important point is that the rupture surface, what is meant by rupture surface? Also, we will call it as a failure surface. The rupture surface is planar. Planar means nothing but you can say it as an incline. And can be determined, can be determined 
by considering by considering its equilibrium all these points are very very important they will ask you in the one mark question you have to remember the assumptions first one is that homogeneous and isotropic by assuming that assumption we can say that properties of the soil are same in all directions at any point and it is applicable whatever the formula we are going to derive that is only applicable for the homogeneous soils and he is assuming that your backfill is vertical and smooth and whatever the backfill that is horizontal and also he has considered that he either in active state or in passive state he is saying that your soil mass is in plastic equilibrium and main important point is that the rupture surface or else we can call it as a failure surface he is saying that the failure surface is planar that means it will be like some inclined way and can be determined by considering it is in equilibrium that means at the time of failure he will consider the equilibrium properties and then he will find out the forces acting on them okay uh, this is about the rankine's theory and its assumptions in the next video we will study about the rankine's active earth stone thank you